As the Voyager missions continue their journey, it's interesting to reflect on how they've captured our solar system before departing. The groundbreaking and hugely ambitious mission covered almost every aspect of our solar system and its planets. So what discoveries came to light along the way? What was the strangest object they found? And what are the most incredible photos captured by the Voyager spacecrafts? Well, let's find out. A once-in-a-lifetime opportunity to travel to all of the solar system's planets at once presented itself in the late 1970s. And that's when NASA decided to build Voyager to take advantage of the perfect alignment of several planets. As it turns out, there were two of them. NASA opted to deploy two identical vehicles one after the other because it would be difficult and expensive to carry out a trajectory that struck all targets exactly, let alone if something went wrong. There were two separate missions, one for close-up views of Jupiter and Saturn and the other for views of Uranus and Neptune. It's been almost 45 years since Voyager mission began on September 5, 1977, with the launch of Voyager 1 and its twin, Voyager 2. Everything, well, almost everything, went according to plan, and Voyager turned out to be one of the most productive and astonishing space missions ever. For decades, the record and Voyager have sparked a belief in the value of exploring and trying new things, just because we can, and because it's part of our nature. Carl Sagan, one of science's most compassionate figures, selected the material for the golden record. It's mind-blowing to consider that everything about us, from our physiology to our conceptions of beauty and philosophy, is travelling through space on this golden record. Why not plan for the chance of extraterrestrial interception if you're launching something into interstellar space? A more accurate term for the Golden Record project's scope and the incredibly slim chances of intelligent life ever coming across it is Moonshot, but that's beside the point. The spacecraft gave us sights of worlds we'd never seen before and haven't seen much of since. Number 11. Jupiter depicted as a cosmic storm Science has never seen Jupiter in such high quality and with so many photographs taken so close together in time as they did when Voyager 1 passed by Jupiter in early March 1979. The first images revealed that the planet, notably its famed red area, is a chaotic mess of fluid interactions with massive storms raging for billions of years. The question of which direction the red spot spins was eventually answered. It was found to rotate in the opposite direction. Number 10. Jupiter's moons are a fascinating menagerie. The composite image of Jupiter's moons is made out of photographs collected by Voyager 1, yet they are all moon images. The surface features of Europa, which lies at the center, grabbed attention, especially after the second approach by Voyager 2, because of their superficiality. It's the solar system's smoothest object. In the lower left, Callisto was discovered to be old and cratered, while Ganymede, the largest moon in the solar system, was found to have active tectonic processes. Everyone was taken aback, however, by Io. Images of Io showed enormous plumes extending nearly 200 miles above the surface, the first volcanoes we'd encountered outside of Earth. Following further investigation, it was discovered that Io is likely volcanic as a result of being pushed around by Europa and Ganymede, causing subterranean sulfur, oxygen and sodium tides to pour out at up to a kilometre per second. It's been doing this for a long time, filling the space surrounding Jupiter with matter and contributing to another recent discovery. Number 9. Jupiter's almost invisible ring and Saturn's tangle of rings. If you look closely enough at Jupiter, you can see a narrow faint ring of dust as Voyager did. The rings of a planet are crucial clues to its past, but you must first locate them. The orange lines on the left side of the image that you can see. Later images showed it to be much more prominent when illuminated from behind by the sun. 
On the other hand, Saturn is a little more complicated than you might expect. Voyager 2's radio probing showed complex patterns of jet streams on Saturn, showing that currents of helium and hydrogen may reach deep inside the planet's gaseous surface, despite Saturn's more modest markings implying a calmer world than Jupiter. Voyager 1 arrived at Saturn in November 1980, followed by Voyager 2 in August 1981. Saturn's rings are full of mystery and wisdom, while Saturn's rings appear to be mainly uniform from afar and in the visible spectrum, the Voyagers discovered that this is far from the case. Upon closer examination of the rings, dozens of separate layers were found, each matching to different types and eras of development. These traces in the dust document the evolution of the Moon and satellite systems of Saturn. Not only that, but they're not simply a bunch of circles. There are spokes, wobbles, and other variations, some of which are created by the Moon's Pandora and Prometheus's careless shepherding. However, certain spokes emerged and vanished while Voyager was watching, and no one knew why. Mysterious, right? Number 8. Multi-Tilted Uranus Uranus is tilted in more than one way. In January 1986, the Voyager 2 spacecraft approached Uranus on a different trajectory. The planet, which is tilted and has its axis spin parallel to the ecliptic rather than perpendicular to it, has been subjected to unprecedented observations. It's as if the North Pole of our planet were hurtling towards the Sun at breakneck speed. Scientists were unaware, however, that Uranus's magnetic field is tilted in a different direction, 60 degrees away from the physical tilt. As a result, its magnetotail looks like a corkscrew when viewed from the night side of the planet. Number 7. Enhanced Titania Night Side The Voyager photos of Titania have been extensively processed to reveal several faint features on the Moon's night side, which are illuminated by Uranus shine. Titania is the largest moon of Uranus and the eighth largest moon in the solar system, with a diameter of 271,104 miles. A possible origin for Titania is accretion. After Uranus's formation, Titania's high density suggests that it developed from a disk of dust and debris left over or from the supposed collision that tilted Uranus onto its side. This suggests that Titania and other Uranus moons formed from a material with less water than some of Saturn's other moons, which is supported by their higher water ice concentration and lower densities. However, the exact composition of Titania and other Uranian moons is not known with any certainty. Number 6. Moons, Moons and More Moons Another photo montage displays Uranus's five moons from largest to smallest – Ariel, Miranda, Titania, Oberon and Umbriel. However, Voyager 2 discovered not one, not two, but ten previously undiscovered moons around the planet – Cordelia, Ophelia, Bianca, Cressida, Desdemona, Juliet, Portia, Rosalind, Belinda, Perdita and Puck are among the characters in Romeo and Juliet. It's a good thing Shakespeare's plays have so many characters. Meanwhile, Miranda is a bizarre moon. The first look at the moon's irregularities makes it seem like a cosmic error. In addition to its 12-mile deep canyons, it has areas that have remained untouched for millions of years. Some believe that a massive impact from long ago caused Miranda to transform into this hideous shape. The Moon is unlike any other object in the universe. Number 5. Neptune's Surface Variability During Voyager 2's August 1989 approach to Neptune, its measurements revealed that the planet is far from the motionless blue ball it appeared to be, as does its inner neighbour Uranus. The Great Dark Spot, a newly discovered feature on Neptune's surface, is one of many. Voyager 2 was the first to see it. The shifting, multi-layered atmosphere appeared to have created a large hole in the cloud cover about the size of Earth. 
Other clouds sit, move and throw shadows, producing a startlingly Earth-like scene 30 times farther out from the Sun, as you can see. Observing the surface of Neptune revealed that it has the strongest winds in the solar system. They hit 1,200 miles per hour around the great dark spot. A brilliant white spot can be seen below the dark spot in this photograph, which was observed scooting around the planet every 16 hours, almost the same time as a Neptunian day. Naturally, it's known as the scooter. Below that is Dark Spot 2, which resembles an eye and should have been given a better name, but it doesn't matter because they've all vanished since then. Where has it vanished to? No one is aware. Number 4. Triton in Detail and Voyager 2's Departing View of Neptune and Triton Voyager 2's engineers utilised Neptune's gravity to create a route that brought the spacecraft within spitting distance of Triton, the moon that was revealed in stunning clarity. The surface's varied texture reflects a long geological history and is dotted with geysers spewing nitrogen and dust into space. Triton's unusual orbit also indicates that it was not always a Neptune moon, but was captured at some point and may have melted as a result of the pressures involved. Voyager 2 and its twin Voyager 1 diverged from the ecliptic on their journey to Triton, after which they both travelled inexorably toward the solar system's edge. As it left the Neptune system, Voyager 2 acquired this image of Neptune and Triton. Number 3. Self-Portraits on a Planetary Scale Does it seem like there's a planet missing from this list? Yes, there is, and it's none other than planet Earth. This image of the planet was taken on September 18, 1977, just two weeks after Voyager 1 was launched, and it is the first time a spacecraft has looked back to see both Earth and the Moon together. Number 2. Voyager 1's Pale Blue Dot in other words, the pale blue dot represents the Earth as seen by Voyager 1 on June 6, 1990, when the spacecraft was travelling at a distance of more than 3.7 billion miles and captured the image. The Earth appears as a tiny dot when viewed via the spacecraft's camera optics. With its distance from the ecliptic, Voyager could observe every planet in our solar system from above. It's difficult to think of a finer illustration of the vastness of the cosmos. Number 1. Into the Unknown Voyager 1 became the first spacecraft to cross into interstellar space more than 30 years after it left Earth. Researchers largely agree that the vehicle left the heliosphere in August of 2012, which is the area where the Sun's radiation is the most significant force. Since then, Voyager 1 has become the first and only source of information on what life is like outside the narrow bubble in which our planet and everything on it has spent billions of years. That research will go on until 2025, when its radioactive power source will have deteriorated beyond a usable state. It will, however, continue to sail outwards towards the rest of the universe and Keep in mind that the golden record isn't powered, so there's a chance that one day it will finally reach another creature living deep in the cosmos. Thanks for watching another episode of Voyager. While you are still here, make sure to click on the video on your screen for more high quality content. I'll see you there.